going on everybody and welcome back to another video I'm using I'm using a new camera program so it's probably gonna be ass I'll probably just go back to the other one and try to make it work but anyways the reason we're here today is we're gonna be talking about Durandal and I think he's a slept on hero my I remember when he got released he was released as a reward tier for getting first place and I forgot what the tournament was my buddy did win him, but my buddy's not using him. And then I got him, I think like two weeks ago, and I read his kit. I mean, I knew what I knew what he did before, but like, you know, I just took a glance over, and I was like, he can be on my arena team with the right stuff. Now, of course, I can use some better gear. Um, I'm running him in Savage right now. He's already six starred. I have um, crushing rend on him too, which is perfect. Um, yeah, like some of the stuff I got could be better. Like this helmet could be better. So I'm waiting until I get some more energy, and I'm gonna run some more fire knight and get a better helmet. So as of right now, he has 104 crit, 151 crit damage. A pretty high accuracy for I mean I was just going for a nukage but I mean sure I'll take it I mean this will help out the accuracy will help out for his a1 which has a chance to freeze and then he has resistance that's pretty high but I have the great hall one maxed out for that my great hall is not maxed by the way so this is not a high-end account this is like mid to getting there <laughs> I'm working on the great hall so we have decent attack 3400 Decent defense, which I don't know how I got that. 204 speed. And HP is okay. But we're not there for that. So if you don't know what he does, it's A1. He's a two-hitter. Each has a chance to do a 20% of uh, chance of freezing the target. This chance increases to 30 on critical hits. So he's doing crits every time. So now it's at a 30% chance. And it's all damage when you level that up. This one, I got it maxed out, luckily. This is the big one for Arena. Hits all enemies, and each hit will ignore 15% of the target's defense. You add that to Savage, that's 40. And then fills this champion's turn meter by 10% on each critical hit. Pretty damn good. Now, Royal Assassin. This thing is amazing. Ignores 50% of the target's defense. Add that with the Savage, that's 25, that's 75, and I also have Helm Smasher. So he can completely ignore defense if it has, if the um, Helm Smasher procs. And then when he kills that target with this move, he will get a perfect veil for two turns. Oh, actually, he doesn't have to kill him, he just gets it if it's a critical. So my bad for reading that. And then he has a 50% crit rate in all battles, but whoop de doo. Um, this is the masters I have so far. I don't have two. Basically, these two right here are just to give him a chance to counterattack. Which, I will get those eventually, just not right now. So, basically, um, this one. Retribution, and this one. So, if you're going to follow the same build those two right there you will need that to complete the build but this is how I have it for offense basically crit rate crit damage then um, this one heart of glory increases damage inflicted by five increases speed for each enemy killed by this champion increases damage inflicted by eight for each hit increases damage inflicted by six when attacking targets with higher max HP that's big Increases damage inflicted by 5 for each dead ally. Mm, that one's okay, but you needed that one to get this one over here. Then kill streak, which is big for arena. And then helm smasher. And then this one's just defense. Decreases damage from AoE. 50% uh, chance to remove one debuff from the champion when they lose 25 max HP. Reduces the damage this champion receives from a specific enemy by 0.75 with each hit. Damage reduction stacks up to 6 for each enemy. And then, of course, the ones that will give you counterattack. Okay. So, how is Durandal? Well, 
we're gonna go to I like testing out builds on 12.3 brutal so I'll do this and I'll put them by themselves and if they can complete the stage then I think that they're on the right track there's the AoE there's the uh, Royal Assassin Now mind you, this is this is against his weakness. Green is stronger against red. So not bad. So basically the damage to kill all enemies in that stage is around 215. Um, K. Okay. So he had no trouble. So what about I did this with um when I was testing out Karato. Stage one of Doom Tower by himself. So, well, I just took him off. Whoopsies. So, we'll put him back. Let's see how far he can get by himself. First stage done. Dead. Okay. Oh no, we're not auto climbing. No, 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 no. Wait, did I not? Oh yeah, that's using a special key because I already did my 10. But yeah. So, Doom Tower. If he's actually good for PvE content if you have people that can make him survive. Um, I used him on like some high stages. Uh, I was using him for Fire Knight and I had a, a kind of a build that was keeping him alive and he was actually doing pretty solid damage. Probably more so because of that royal assassin attack, but the thing is, he's he doesn't have like a lot of survivability, so you have to make sure that the squad that he's in actually helps him out. Arena time. Let's see if we can actually win against some of these because my league sucks. Let's see if we can find something that's gonna be fun to fight. Oof. Let's try this one. I mean, I'm not promising anything. I honestly, I do everything auto. I don't manual it. The only thing I do is like if if they need to take out a healer or a reviver, I'll click on the reviver. So like, see like, look at that. He just killed two tanky people like nothing. And his royal assassin, 93k. Amazing. Amazing. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's see if we can find something else. But I was not expecting the win for that. I thought they were gonna have like bolster set or something. Usually, when you see a team like this down here, it's a trap. But we'll try it out. We'll try it out. So the whole purpose I got Durandal maxed out and Savage is if Gembo doesn't finish off the other team, he comes in with that, you know, ignore defense smack to hopefully finish the rest off. And then whoever's still alive, then hopefully they're not super OP and then they can just finish them off, you know. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I... I I don't fight teams like that because I don't have that banner yet. I need that banner for my um my arbiter. I don't have it yet. Ooh, this is a scary team. We'll try it. I'm not expecting a win. I did go first, but that guy's uh passive. Woohoo. Yeah, Torment's passive if you max that out. The more buffs you plant on, there's a chance to be frozen. So that's the only way that guy got that win. We can try this one. That's gonna... Oh, I'm still faster. Even with that uh, aura. Smack. Ignore smack. Now we just gotta get rid of her. All I do is just click on the target and then let them do the rest. Durandal, no! 
Nah, this ain't gonna happen. Tanky, tanky, tanky. Even the Gembo buffed up, just didn't get the smack. Um, we can try again. You know, sometimes outcomes change. That bolster set is broken. Oh, look at that. Oh, told you. Sometimes just a retry will will do it. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> no! Sad face. So close. So close. Oh, I wish they attacked uh, Sil instead. Ugh. Why is this team set up like that? Uh, we can try this one. This is probably really bad. Hedgy's probably gonna like egg, uh, block some skills. Nope. Oh, he did. He did block. That's a smack. Let's see. Oh, no. Durandals is blocked. Sad face. T he killed that one, though, at least. But she's still alive, so it doesn't matter. And there goes Tornado. Basically, my team is is the setup for if it can just kill them all in one smack, then that's great. But yeah, Hedgie's aerial attack is dumb, super dumb. I right, got a couple wins, couple losses, just how it goes. But anyways, I would 100% build Durandal. Like he does hit pretty hard. Um, like I said, I don't have a maxed out great haul. The one that's 10, I did that just to get my Arbiter, pretty much, so I can finish that one. But people with a maxed out Great Hall, Durandal will do tons of more damage, obviously. But let me know if you built Durandal fully, and let me know what build you have on him. And um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.